No. Yeah, this is uh, 823 El Camino Real, west of Camino Real uh, in Mountain View. At uh, Oleg Tumasov Studio, we have a student here uh, doing a painting, a landscape. So, uh, let me show you right there. And trees and a lake. So, yeah, Mado is uh, using a fan brush. She's using a fan brush? Fan brush to give the effect of the trees. Okay. You see the leaves where she does? Yeah. That's the effect. It's a special brush. And, yeah. Uh, split. Yeah, that's all like Tumasaf, uh, yeah. uh, the instructor here. At Jessica the is uh, started to do acrylic okay. of the famous artist. What is his name, Jessica? Patrick Serrano. Patrick Serrano. Figurative man. You see? That's Jessica over there. We'll get to her in a minute. Uh, says hello. Uh, she's doing another project there. And uh, so Oleg, she, uh, Mr. Oleg, she, she's, she's using, yeah. you said, uh, the kind of she brush? Fan brush, yeah. Oh, fan okay. Yeah. And yeah. she applied. So this light. So she put some lights and then we'll grow more. Okay. See what it does? Oh, I see. Okay. So she see. doesn't she doesn't brush through. She just sort of just like dabbles just on just it. Patch. Oh, okay. Little. To create the leaves, the yeah, effect and of also the leaves. The effect it gives between uh, using light and then shading. Wow. Dark paint and light paint to create. It's beautiful. Effects. Yeah. And right now she's using the orange. Uh, yeah, orange, yellow, yeah, cadmium yellow, and ah. yeah, orange and cadmium yellow. I really like the colors, uh, I mean, they, they yeah. really... It gives nice uh, effect. Now, we're not talking oil here, right? Is no, this that's is acrylic, like water base. Oh, okay. okay. Fast. Yeah, right. pretty much and, uh, well, what's we the, work fast too. What's the basic difference? Just that it dries faster? It or dries is, faster it is well, there, it, does it give it another effect uh, to the painting? Oil gives more elasticity. Uh, okay. It's okay. natural infinity. Okay. Yeah. Somehow and, it looks, uh, uh, looks... It has limitations uh, for acrylic and uh, mm -hmm. we need to know very much this material in order to, to, to get used to it. To, to yeah. To a certain point. But oil is... All over the place. Forgiving. Do mistakes as much as you can then you can fix it. Yeah. Acrylic is tough a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Watercolor too. It's very sensitive materials because it's uh, One, once it's on there, it's yeah, hard to. Yeah. Uh, then you don't want to overlap it because it's gonna it will look dirty. Oh, okay. okay. But oil, no oil. You put layering, layering, layering as much as you can. Why do artists prefer want. to use one or the other? Because uh, well, it's a personal taste, and probably they don't know how to use oil because they have no experience, uh, experience with enough yeah. oil. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Acrylic is easy uh, to, to get used to. Acrylic has been with it, with uh, the art world for quite a while. For a while yeah, been... but oil is the oldest one. Oil is, oh, okay. oil, is the oil, gouache, uh, egg tempera. Okay. Yeah, pastels, this is all old materials. Acrylic is new. Yeah. It looks like it's coming along. Yeah, she's, you know? this is like, well, what is it? So how many hours you put on it? Six, only six, like six Very nice. You know, I, I really like the colors. Well, it. this is just uh, evolving. If you want to see the picture there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. she's using a so lab, uh, a tablet, a tablet, huh? Tablet for the yeah. sample. We have to add some, something else. We need to do this transparency there. The background you see in the middle between the yeah. trees. So yeah. she found she found that on, uh, yeah. on the web, that yeah. picture. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Jessica, see what she does. That's what is good. When you do something, you're not copying, you're interpreting. Yeah. Um, you're interpreting you're something what part of you inside. Yeah. Not just mechanically copying things. So, what you were saying about the draftsman versus the artist? Yeah, yeah it's, you put some artistic presence in. Yeah, you put yourself in it. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to be a good copy machine, you know? 
So if you have two people doing, if you have two people doing the same uh, picture, yeah, it's it, going to be there's different. something different. Yeah, to because it, yeah. there are two different people going to do one the same thing. Yeah. Or you can do, or you can make two of them. You can have a project to do exactly everything the same. So that's but she yeah, is yeah. she doing? She is she working in acrylic too, or that's yeah. acrylic too, the same. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, one day. Uh, convince people to do some more oil. Yeah. Some students have a preference for acrylic, acrylic versus... Yeah. Because it is uh, most of the time here um, in the schools they use acrylics beside, oh. you know, beside that uh, academic uh, yeah. approach, you know, they have to use some oil too. But generally acrylic has become very popular because yeah. the dry spot is its own yeah. beauty. I noticed the subject is really interesting. Uh, a dancer and a, in a red dress. Right? Red dress dancers, or maybe not dancers, maybe just standing in love and looking yeah. far away. It reminds me of those Argentinians, <laughs> the tango, ready to Kinds, do the yeah. tango or Motion. something. Yeah. Wow, very good. Okay, this is Benjamin now. He's doing a uh, drawing in pencil of a uh, bird. Is that a bird, Benjamin? Uh, uh, yeah, parrot. Looks like a parrot, right? Two parrots? Very nice. Michel Cockatoo. A Michel Cockatoo. Mitchell or Michel? Mitchell. Mitchell Cockatoo. Yeah. Cacatoo. Wow. Very expensive, yeah. I have an umbrella cockatoo. They're very expensive, yeah, right? Like so, two thousand, three, five thousand dollars. Now, to draw them, is it uh, a challenge for some for the kids yeah, sometimes? Yeah, look at the feathers, to draw the feathers, to put them in power pencils. All. Yeah. Let me kind of swing to the side here so you can yeah, see you can the uh, close up, so it's the actual time. painting. Well, uh, Benjamin, how old are you? Uh, 11 years old. 11 years old. So 11 years old and doing the work, hard work like this. You know, Very interesting, yeah. yeah. So that's the picture right there of the two kakakus. Now let's swing over to your your drawing. And uh, wow, Good job, look wow. at that! Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, you will see maybe in the future. Uh, this kid. How it's gonna look like. Yeah. And he's got the subject exactly almost. Nice lines. Yeah, I see you. Okay. Yeah. Very nice lines. Very accurate. Yeah. That would be your first uh, color pencils or no? Uh, yeah, first color. First color pencils, okay. First color pencils. Uh, yeah. It's introducing you with the color pencils techniques. Well, in this school? Oh yeah. yeah. Or general? What yeah, about general? Uh, did you do it before? Yeah. You I've did done. before, right? Yeah. But not as complicated as this one, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm not very done. So eventually, is he gonna? It's a challenge for me. Yeah. Eventually, will he d be drawing uh, in pencil? Pencil yeah. drawing? Color pencils. Yeah. But he wants to finish everything in drawing. That it will be easier to use color pencils. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Um, it's something that. Uh, this this particular subject does take a little time to get yeah. the details so, yeah, done. This is the longest work, the longest process. Yeah. It's not fast. Because it's all the work, yeah, it takes longer you know. Landscapes and all yeah. that. Well, complex work. Uh, look how many trees and how many leaves and you wanna you wanna to show the effect the same as yeah. that's the reason you're choosing picture when you want your painting it will look like at least close to it, you know. Um I, I can see with the cockatoos. Uh, there, there are a lot of details, you know, the yes. feathers and... So, you find a couple more leaves, Benjamin? Mm -hmm. No, oh, actually feathers. Oh, the feathers, uh, no. okay. Like, Thank you for showing us that, Benjamin. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, very nice. But right. also, she wants something bright, so she's using oil to start something bright. And, and that one again that you showed us with the grandmother there? Grandma is oil. That's 13 years old. She's 13 yeah, years yeah, old? Yeah, but I was showing her because she has no idea to the project a little bit, but she handled it very well. Yeah. Uh, we have some dancer here. Oil. Wow. We have some shoes here, acrylic. Are these all children doing this? This one is adult. Yeah. This one is adult. 
Okay. This one is 13 years old. Girl. All right. So it's a Van Gogh here. Van Gogh? Yeah. Who did that no, Van Gogh? 11 years old boy. Oh. We have Tiger here. This is 5 years old oil painting. Parrot. Yeah. We have Zebra by um, 9 years old. Wow. Yeah. We have now, Portrait by 10 years old. What's your opinion on this one? Now? I don't know. Portraits, you know, kids. It looks so like a me medieval, uh, yeah, medieval uh, monk, monk or poet or something. Yeah. But uh, they handle it very well. This one is 10 years old. Wow. Polina, butterfly. Can I see that again? Uh, right here. Yeah. That's the cocoon, is it? This is the which one? This is butterfly. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this is landscape. This is all startup work, okay? You see the picture behind. Ah, uh, can you? Yes, uh, nine years old. Lorene. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Works in progress, Work right? Works in progress, yeah. They yeah. still can because oil you have to wait till it dries. That's the reason some people prefer acrylic. Yeah. It dries fast so you can finish it quicker. But right. oil you have to take time. To layering, you wait till it dries and come back, work again. Oh, that's the reason then, because uh, with, the with acrylic, uh, it dries faster, so they don't have yeah, to wait. They don't need yeah. to wait. Okay. You, you go to YouTube, Thanks. you'll see lots of stuff. Hey, uh, oh, yeah. Is, uh, ah, okay. <laughs> Mr. Tumasov uh, giving a few pointers. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. A few pointers to the uh, artist there. So, Mr. Olek, are uh, you showing her what? What was this? Uh, I'm showing this part. She wants this effect, like this uh, uh -huh. reflection of the trees, uh, right in the middle part. Okay. So I try to do as much as I can to show her so she's. And you're using a thin brush there? Thin brush and uh, nice blue mixing with white. First, I do the background. Okay. These mountains right there. Mm hmm. A couple times I go over with my brush. And a lighter hue of color, right? Uh, hue is white. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go for, let's see, green. So you have to do it quickly, because otherwise... Yeah, we have to yeah. do it quickly with acrylic. I go a little yeah. bit using brown now. I see Good you... Catching. You put a little water on the brush there? Just a little bit. Not yeah. too much because acrylic is already has water, watery material. Okay. And uh, let's do it with the tree. I put one color. Now I'm gonna do shade, so I have to go quicker a little bit. Yes. So you can follow me. So it takes. Uh, looks like it takes maybe two, three seconds before it starts to dry, huh? Yeah. So right Very there. nice. That's tree. Okay, now I go for the second tree, which is green. So green, yellow. So right here, I'm mixing very quick, and then I apply. And then. Okay. So I'm doing this now. Yeah. Now I'll take a little bit of okra. A couple of them I mixed. I put now okra because every tree reflects each other. Every surroundings reflect each other. So. There's a little bit of every colors everywhere. Okay. Different kind of hue, right? Different kind of hue and green. So now putting a little light, give some shape for tree. Mm -hmm. Now the next one, I go a little bit lighter. So I need okra, so I put a little bit okra mixing. Not using water anymore. Okay. And then I go again. This is of course, the water softens the the acrylic, right? Yeah. The pigments. It, it paints easier. Yeah. Not too much water though. So I come back, add some stuff here too. Mm -hmm. Some here too. That's reflection. That's no, the reflection. Yeah, but now I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do it right here. Okay. So put you another layer of ground to prepare this for reflection. Okay. After that, 
So I'm going to show the same reflection of this G now. Mm -hmm. Right here. More white. Seems they're pretty pretty bright colors, huh? Yeah. This is just just top, so but it's really here now green. Yeah. Green. More green. Right there. This reflection coming on a little bit. Um now brown. So basically you have her uh uh, doing the background there, right? Uh, making sure that uh, yeah. you get the reflections. Is that the reflections yeah, on the thing? Oh, okay. Alright. Now this one. Right here. Okay. Now we're going to go a little. This wide. And then we go over it. Like that. Oh. Very nice. And then blending. Then you blend with the this finger. Yeah. yeah. This is water. Yeah. Then give the water effect. And then again, more details. Yeah. Again, more details. So it's gradually everything. See? And then everything you do, you go to the flexion again back. Yeah. The colors are beautiful, you know, the combination of colors. Yeah. Now I think yeah. I'm moving to the left, so I go a little bit more, try to, to put some colors here. Okay. With some reflection right here. Yeah. Okay. Now we need to work on this reflection, lots of reflections right there, so we go like that. Work there. You see what is happening? Uh, yes. More reflections. More reflections. With blue greens. All this goes here. Okay. Very nice. Take a bigger brush. Yeah. Oh heavens, yes. And it has to, yeah. We'll take solid wire and we'll go from here. Yeah. Very nice. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Starlik giving some suggestions to one of his students. Come on by, 823 West El Camino Real, Mountain View. And uh, say hello to Mr. Oleg. And if you're give interested me a in taking. Too. <laughs> say what's that? <laughs> give me a hug. Oh, give him. He wants a hug because <laughs> he doesn't get much love. 